There's a big difference in manufacturing in the U.S. and manufacturing overseas, which is one of the reasons why uh, a lot of companies find it a lot more convenient, not only cheaper, but more convenient and easier uh, to produce overseas. Working in the U.S., uh, it's more logistically time-consuming. You have to uh, arrange with each vendor of each process separately uh, to come together and put your project, uh, put your product together. Uh, well, in uh, producing overseas like China, uh, it's a big difference. You're basically putting together a tech pack. And the tech pack is sort of like a, the blueprints of the product. You send them a tech pack together with references, whether your references are fabrics, though they can copy quality, or a particular uh, uh, thing that's on your garment, like a embroidery or something like that, that you want them to replicate. Uh, whatever information that you can give them, or a sample that you can give them that you know that are not so clearly explained through uh, text or photos or things like that, uh, you send that to the factory, and they have like a whole team to. Uh, put together things and co to coordinate things and then you just as a designer you just sit around and wait for your first sample to come back or it, uh, what happens during that time sometimes is they ask questions when they don't understand something uh, clearly or they're not sure about something they'll email you a question you answer the questions uh, but basically you're waiting for your first sample to come after your first sample comes back then you do corrections uh, you do a fitting uh, you see if the, the fit is right. You uh, see if all the details in. Believe me, uh, first samples are never correct. Uh, whenever you're dealing with anyone from making it overseas or doing it here domestically, while the process uh, making it here in the U.S., um, you're dealing with uh, your pattern maker. Um, uh, they have questions. Once you go from the pattern making step and, and, and get that right. Then you send your patterns to to the cutter. They cut the, and and you arrange for the fabric to go to the cutter, whether it's before or before or at the same time or whatever. Um, your fabric is cut uh, using your first patterns. Uh, then you send it to uh, sewing. Uh, the sewer coordinates with uh, some companies use embroideries or and labels or embossing or something like that. It's just any kind of or, or printing or, or in our case the one thing that we send out is printing our pocket bags get printed and our waistbands get printed everything else the, the factory handles uh, except for the washing the, the sewing factory so uh, the sewing factory will um, wait they'll do some sewing while they're waiting for the printed paper uh, uh, pocket bags to come back and the waistbands to come back from the printer after that comes back they'll complete uh, the sewing uh, do the embossing on the waistband, and if the gene involves washing, they'll also send it to laundry. Wait for the wash to come back, and then finish it. Like do the pressing, add the buttons, add the rivets, and then we get to see it. At, at that time, then we go through the corrections. Uh, we check the fit. Uh, we check to make sure that the all stitch colors are right, the sewing is right. So. Although working in the U.S., uh, there's less of a language barrier, um, uh, you're closer to your product, and uh, you're working on the same time zone, uh, it's still a lot more work and uh, a lot more things that can go wrong uh, in your logistics than simply sending over tech packets and samples to a factory and telling and letting them like do all the leg work, uh, copying this, copying that, and sending you a first sample to review.